So you're having trouble getting your image to fit the whole of the page in Microsoft Word. It might be a photo or it might be something like a letterhead. So let's see how this can be done. So the first thing you need to do is insert the image. So you go to the Insert tab on your ribbon, go to Pictures, and I'm going to pick a picture from my PC. Select your image and then click on Insert. Now, if you want your image to fill the whole page, it needs to be the correct size. So you need to find out the size of your page, and you can do that by going to the Layout tab of your ribbon, go to the Size button, and you need to see which size is currently applied. So here I'm using A4, which is 21 centimeters by 29.7 centimeters. If you're in the US, you're probably using this option here, 21.59 times 27.94. So I need to remember these settings here. So then what I do is with the image selected, I go to the picture format tab on my ribbon and over here in the size group, I can change the dimensions of my image. Now, if I type in 29.7 up here for the height, you can see that it automatically changes the width for me. Now that's because the default setting for images is that it will maintain the proportions of the image. I need to change that. So I click on this little button here and I untick lock aspect ratio. And then I can change the width here to 21. Click on OK. Now that will distort the image very, very slightly, but I can live with that in this particular example. So now we need to center the image within the page. Now before we try and do that, we do need to change the wrapping options for the picture. So the picture is still selected, and in the Arrange group, we go to this Wrap Text button. And then we need to select Behind Text. Then I'm going to go up to this button here, Align Objects. And I need to make sure that Align to Page is selected. If it isn't, you need to go in and select Align to Page. Then you go back to the button and you select Align Center and then Align Middle. So now the image is perfectly aligned in the background of my page and I can type over the image. So I'm just going to change the font size so you can see this more clearly. And if I start typing, the text appears in front of the image. Now this would work equally as well with something like a letterhead that you need to put in the background of a page. So if I create a brand new document. So what I do is I go to insert picture, picking it again from this PC. Browse for your letterhead. So with this one, this should be the perfect proportions for my page. So I can just go up to my size setting up here and I'm going to change the height to 29.7. And I can see the width is automatically changed to 21 centimeters. So I go to wrap text, behind text, and then I go up to this alignment button, make sure align to page is selected then Align Center, and then Align Middle. Now, if I type some text into this document, you can see it appears in the wrong place. Just put some carriage returns in, but you can see that that brings the image down. If I change the margin settings, so I increase the top margin to say four centimeters, that would also bring the image down. So you'd be much better if you were using something like a letterhead to actually put the letterhead within the header of the document. So let's see how we can do that. So I'm in a brand new document and what I'd want to do is double click at the top of the document here and that should take you into the header. I then insert my image. I need to change the size of my image, 29.7. Then I need to go to wrap text, behind text, and then making sure align to page is selected, I align it to the center and to the middle. What I can then do is go to the header and footer tab on the ribbon and close the header and footer. So you can see that the insertion point is now 
the same place as before, I want to bring it below this header graphic here. So what I can do is go to Layout, Margins, Custom Margins, and I'll change the top margin to 4, click on OK, and you can see it brings the cursor down, but it doesn't bring the graphic down. OK, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.